My name is uh, Gary Hartree. I presently fly a PC-12, but uh, my, uh, some of my past experience uh, includes uh, flying the Jetstream 41-7, uh, various training airplanes. I was an instructor when I started this flying business. So, um, so my course has been varied. Uh, my training, I've had lots of training, simulator, flight training, otherwise, and uh, the main, the main, some of the main concerns I had, I didn't have any concerns. The only concern I had was with myself, my, my capabilities and my abilities, and what would I do should the unthinkable happen? Loss of control in flight. It's always been a concern of mine. Uh, I've, never, I've never been an aerobatic pilot. Uh, very limited knowledge of those things. So when, it, uh, when the opportunity came to do this, I, I did have a few apprehensions because I, did, I didn't know how, how I would react, which is good because if my reaction in an airplane is what I thought it might be, then the situation could, might not have been good on, at, the, uh, at the end of the day. So uh, coming to uh, APS for the emergency maneuver training, although a little apprehensive, very, very glad that I took the training. Uh, first day I uh, came in, very welcome, uh, everybody was very cur courteous, uh, very professional staff. The instruction, top notch, both in the classroom and in the airplane. Uh, absolutely no, no question uh, in my mind that this, is, uh, this training has benefited me as a pilot. Uh, and even in myself, like thinking thinking outside the box a little bit. I mean, it's, it's, I'm telling you this, it's, it's, it's the best flight training that I've experienced up to this point in my career. So um, I really appreciate you guys doing this for, and having this, the ability to do this for other pilots. And I think, uh, I think you got a good thing here. The academic back, the training was absolutely as important as the flight training. You get, out in the, you get out in the airplane and you start doing maneuvers and the stuff that you've learned in the classroom actually makes sense in the airplane. So things that you, uh, you may have learned in flight, in flight school or by your instructor, but you've, you've forgotten about it. And, but there are some things too that you'll learn that you've never been taught before. So I'm thinking it's the value of the training in the classroom is as important as the training in the, uh, in the airplane. When I first, when the first day, I, after the academic portion, I stepped in the airplane and I was apprehensive. I was very apprehensive. Uh, what would my reactions be? Uh, you know, would I flail on the controls? And, but, uh, but because of the professionalism of the person behind me, it was, uh, that went away really quick. It didn't, it didn't last uh, long. You know what? Every pilot that I meet from now on, I'm going to recommend that they have this training. <laughs> because you're right, because if that happens, a pilot, he might do the right thing, but he might not. You know, it's what, what, what would his background, what in his background would, would tell him, would be that little thing in his head telling him, this is the right thing to do. Will he pull or will he roll, you know? That's so, so do you think that previous flight training would prepare you for some of these situations to be able to recover from them, or would you more no, no. Well, some previous flight flight training may have. Mine did not. Honestly, my my fl previous flight training, there was no. Uh, I I. It's my strong opinion that you know, people going through the commercial flight training should be as a, should be exposed to, to this type of uh, environment. You fly, as an airline pilot, you fly in this comfortable little bubble all the time. To go outside of that bubble, you have to know what's there. And you have to be prepared and know what to do if, it, if, if you happen to uh, step into that regime.